Welcome to Crazy Towns, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. And we are starting the timer. ba -ding. All right, Jonas. Yes, sir. New Taco Bell item has just hit the market. Oh, I haven't heard about this. You have not heard? Well, You're not talking about Mexican pizza coming back, are you? No, it's not a Mexican pizza. But the new item oh, God. is incorporates a giant Cheez-It. A giant cheese it Wait, hold yeah. on, bro. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm not even kidding. Bro, that's like, oh. I know. Taco Bell, why they got to do that? I know, right? So okay. it's a giant cheese it Like, if you actually see a picture, I want you people at, at home. Yeah, I need to Google, Google this it real quick. Giant cheese it Taco Bell. I'm doing it right now. It is literally a giant cheese it with, like, with like meat, lettuce, cheese, whatever toppings just on top of it. I don't, so it's like a tostada, but the tostada is a cheese it. Kind of, yes, yes. yes. What the? It's that very, sounds. That doesn't sound good, to be honest. But I, mean, I like the cheese it. Oh my lord! It's literally just a cheese it with toppings. <gasps> oh, on it. they got it in a crunch wrap too. <laughs> they're, so they're gonna put a cheese it inside a crunch wrap, bro. You know, honestly, when I when I picked this this uh, as the, a part of the topic, I did not realize that your love for cheese it was this strong, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Cheez-Its is a, a type of snack I can't buy because I eat the whole box. Like, yeah, Cheez-Its yeah. is like my favorite snack cracker. Yeah, so, yeah. anyways. I'm not mad at you. It says Taco Bell makes big moves. I'm like, <laughs> now, look, I'm going to tell you right now, anyway. if they if they come out with the white cheddar Cheez-Its, then I'm going to start having a problem because white cheddar Cheez-Its are amazing. Dude, I kind of want a crunch wrap with a Cheez-It in the middle. I'm not going to lie, dude. I'd be what like, a, no meat. Just, <laughs> just, just Cheez-It? Cheez it wrap it in a tortilla. Oh, just, Put some nacho cheese yeah, on Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Cheez-It and cheese? <laughs> that actually sounds pretty good. Anyway. <laughs> but I just thought, like, you know, like, what the hell? Could they possibly think of next? Like Taco Bell has taken the same three ingredients and just remixed them. Lettuce and just <laughs> yeah, and like some sort of Dude, crispy bread. I'm not gonna lie, some of their stuff has been next level. Like the the Doritos tacos. Yeah, bro, that that was revolutionary. Dude, revolutionary. I can't even blew my mind. And that's why they're doing this now. They even I have home Dorito shells. Exactly. Honestly. Why not Funyuns? Why not other oh, chips? Fun, dude. Like a Pringle shell. Like nachos with Funyuns sprinkled on top, dude. Ooh, sounds pretty good. <laughs> it does. does sound pretty good. I never even thought about putting Cheez-Its and Taco Bell food until right now, and now I'm like, <laughs> what am I doing this weekend? <laughs> well, if you want to know what the next level is, Jonas, this is it. All right. Company named Oomph out of uh, Switzerland, I believe. Swedish. Okay. That is Switzerland, right? Yeah. Okay. Sweet Sweden. Wait. No, Sweden's a country. Yes, they recently won an award Ooh. for their vegan burger that okay. is uh, that tastes like human meat. How does anyone know what human meat tastes like? So the <laughs> so the maker of this of this of the sandwich, this oomph company, the guy said that he got the idea by thinking it's almost Halloween time. What would be a freaky thing to do? Why don't I make a burger that tastes like human meat? So he went into the kitchen and started. He, I guess he made some phone calls to try to find out what human meat tastes like. Okay. And he tried to mimic it. And uh, it actually won an award for, like, creativity and, like, uh, marketing, I Right, guess. right. But, I mean, does any, like, here, here's my question. Yes. A judge had to eat this and base it on how much it tastes like human meat. But did they have to go have some cannibal burgers first? I don't, look, man, they I don't know They killed their sister doing. and ate her leg before. I don't know what they're doing in, Sw in Switzerland. Um, I kind of want to try it. They're a neutral country. Why are they murdering? <laughs> we don't know what they're doing out there. And it's a vegan burger, so it's plant bla it's plant it's plant based or anyway. So, you know, no that harm, is no fire. Pure fi poppycock, dude. I mean, uh, it, uh, Taco Bell put a cheese in underneath some meat. <laughs> That's you gotta, revolutionary. You gotta, talk, you gotta talk shit about a uh, burger. Like, like Putting meat. cheeses in tacos is revolutionizing this the game. This motherfucker popped off like it was the Fourth of July in this living room when I brought up a cheese it inside of a, a, a freaking tortilla shell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really and I tell him a company is trying to make a different flavored meat. And, and he's I'm like, like fuck <laughs> you, <laughs> Switzerland. We should bomb them. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, right? I mean, obviously one is way more cool than the other. <laughs> yes, the human meat flavored anything. I just want Cheez-Its now. All I can think about is Cheez-Its. <laughs> that was only supposed to be the lead up to the human meat story. That is so much better to me. <laughs> <laughs> But no, 
know, dude. I, I mean, don't know if we can. I don't know if we can actually buy it because, like I said, it was a Swedish company. You might right. be able to order it offline, but apparently, it was only promotional for uh like swedish halloween or whatever oh okay so, but like okay i'm gonna be real though because like you you were vegan for a while yes and you, and you were kind enough to share all sorts of vegan stuff with me like yes. hey i got this frozen vegan whatever you want to try one of these frozen vegan chicken nuggets or yeah, yeah. all not very much of it was very good to me you know i could see that um i would say is that it's not as good as the meat versions of the stuff that I would get, <laughs> but there was some good stuff. Like those, uh, like uh, when we went to that one meetup and I had the vegan burgers from that one restaurant that was there. That some bar. vegan trucks have awesome stuff. Yes, dude. some of the vegan hamburgers are amazing, and you'd never be able to tell the difference. Um, the Impossible Burgers are very good. The once you start getting into like the sausages and like the the faux chicken, yeah. Because I think did you have like fake hot dogs one time or I've something? Had, yeah, I've had Those the were fake... really gross. Yeah. The chicken nuggets, like it's it's all just close enough that you get it. Yeah. But like the consistency ain't there most yeah. of the time. Like you usually need to drown some of that stuff out with a sauce or something to kind of like. Because the texture won't be quite right, but the like I said, the burgers are generally there's like amazing things they have done with the uh, with the fake plant based ground yeah. meat. Yeah, so. you're not wrong. You know what I wonder about those? Like a lot of that stuff, you would just heat it up in the microwave or whatever. I wonder if like like those vegan chicken nuggets, if you took the time to bake them for like four at four hundred for like if they yeah. would get crunchy like a regular chicken nugget, yeah, I ain't and it would that. make that difference. But like that's why I hate frozen food, dude. It takes forever and yeah. it's trash. And honestly, anything frozen that you put in the microwave tends <laughs> Not be as yeah, even pizza rolls, yo. You yeah. put them in the microwave; they don't taste nearly as good as no. if you bake them in the oven. But yeah, I, I mean, I don't buy. But it. would you try? Would you try a plant based burger that is geared to taste like human? Why not? It's plant. Sure, I I, I wouldn't buy. I probably wouldn't buy it on my own because one, I'm not into plant based food very much, and two, it would probably be like fifteen dollars for the burger. Oh, yeah, it's going to be expensive, right? And like, I mean, yeah, the novelty of like what I would do is like I would go somewhere and split it with someone. Be like, hey, why don't we get one of them vegan human burgers, and then we'll order whatever we want. We'll split the human burger. And... Do, you, do you think you would know human meat if you tasted no, it? How? You know it don't taste like any other meat you've ever tasted. All of a sudden. Do you I get, have an idea yeah, in your that head? I, that I'm, cur- that I'm ravenous for like, something. I don't know. Like, think of the taste of blueberries. Can you imagine the taste of blue? I know you can't imagine things in your head. But you I know, imagine, you, I know, oh, I can imagine the taste of something. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like you can imagine, you eat watermelon all the time. You can imagine the t- what watermelon tastes. Yeah, like. like the consistency. Like I'm better at imagining that than I am picturing things in my head. Right. All right. So if you bit into a watermelon and it didn't taste like watermelon, you'd be like, "What the hell is this flavor?" Like I don't know. I don't know. Me myself, I can kind of guess. Like bite your arm. Just take it at home. Jonas isn't going to do it, but at home, just I mean, I'll tr- take a chunk out of my arm. Don't bite you take it. Me all- to the, you taking me to the urgent care? No, no, just like taste your arm, all right? Salty. It, it, yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. I ain't showered in a couple days, so it's real <laughs> funky, too. I'm joking. I shower but all the time. I, I picture, like, human meat kind of having, like, salty taste to it. They say it's sweet. Uh, I imagine being very fatty. Fatty, but fatty just means flavorful. Right, yeah, so it's probably... I hear, I hear it has a lot of sweetness to it, from just reports from it's cannibals. It's probably... Like, reports from cannibals. Like, yeah. you're reading the, the scientific journal of cannibalism. I mean, I've done, I've done some research. They call it long pig, for one thing. Okay. Uh, real cannibals call it long pig, and they say it's very sweet because humans have a lot of sugar in their diet. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I don't eat a lot of sugar, though. Would I be sweet? I'd you, be... you do. You, you, your sugar intake is still a lot um, more than, like... A cow, or like a chicken, or like right because they get none. There you yeah, go. yeah. I mean, granted, like, like, yeah, I, I mean, I've been eating some brownies and stuff, but that's like a one time a year <laughs> thing. Like, usually, I don't eat nobody, that crap. Nobody's calling you out on your dietary choices. I'm Whatever, just saying dude. is that I all the meat we take in, they I don't get, they don't judge. eat sugar. They don't eat sugar. We eat a lot of it. They just put a funnel in a cow's mouth and pour a (laughs) pound of sugar down his throat. Either way, go get you a freaking cheese it or go get you a human meat burger plant-based. I I am seriously considering going to get one of them. (laughs) Cheese it, dude. I'm not even lying, yo. Anyways, uh, that's all the time we have today's episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com. That's where you can subscribe to our stuff for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.